In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, the United States Navy stands as an unrivaled force. A significant part of this naval supremacy is attributed to its formidable fleet of aircraft carriers, each symbolizing the nation's commitment to maritime dominance. This dominance is now being further enhanced by the United States Navy with its monumental transformation with the construction of the Gerald R. Ford-class nuclear-powered aircraft carriers. This ambitious project aims to replace existing carriers with state-of-the-art vessels that not only enhance operational efficiency, but also redefine the capabilities of naval power. Named after former U.S. President Gerald R. Ford, these carriers represent a leap forward in technology, size, and strategic importance. The Gerald R. Ford-class carriers are the next evolution in naval warfare, constructed to replace their predecessors on a one-for-one -one basis. The journey commenced with the lead ship of the class, the USS Gerald R. Ford, whose mission was to succeed the Enterprise, and subsequently, the Nimitz-class carriers. These carriers feature a hull reminiscent of the Nimitz-class, but their innovation lies in the technologies developed under the CVN-21 program, such as the electromagnetic aircraft launch system. Moreover, their design incorporates features geared toward enhancing efficiency and reducing operational costs, including streamlined crew requirements. These Titanic carriers boast awe-inspiring statistics. With a displacement of approximately 100,000 long tons, a length of 1,106 feet, a beam of 256 feet, and a towering height of 250 feet, they command attention on the open seas. However, it's not just their imposing size that sets them apart. It's their ability to carry a formidable air wing. Each Gerald R. Ford-class carrier will house an air wing comprising 90 fixed-wing aircraft, vertical and short takeoff aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles. This impressive arsenal includes F-35 and F-A-18 EF Super Hornet multi-role fighters, EA-18G Growler electronic warfare aircraft, E-2D Advanced Hawkeye Airborne Early Warning Aircraft, MH-60R and MH-60S naval helicopters. In essence, the air wing of a Ford-class carrier is a force unto itself, rivaling the complete air forces of many nations. With these carriers, the United States ensures its unrivaled naval dominance throughout the 21st century. The hull design of the Ford-class carriers shares some similarities with the Nimitz-class, but innovation is evident in the details. The carriers feature a smaller, redesigned, and stealthier island. Notably, the flag bridge was relocated from the carrier's island to a lower deck to minimize the island's size, a move that enhances the carrier's overall efficiency and aerodynamics. Changes to the flight deck design increase sortie rates. While the presence of three elevators and four catapults ensures swift deployment of the air wing, what truly sets these carriers apart is their automation and efficiency, reducing crew size by 500 to 900 personnel compared to the Nimitz class. At the heart of the Ford-class carriers lies an advanced nuclear propulsion system developed by Northrop Grumman. This system represents a quantum leap in efficiency, providing three times more power than previous iterations. The enhanced propulsion system not only ensures greater operational range, but also contributes to a more sustainable and eco-friendly approach to naval power projection. In terms of weaponry, the Ford-class carriers are no slouch. They are armed with two launchers carrying 16 evolved Sea Sparrow missiles each, designed to defend against high-speed, maneuverable anti-ship missiles. Additionally, they house two launchers with 21 rolling airframe missiles for countering incoming threats. To bolster their defense even further, each carrier is equipped with four 20mm Phalanx close-in weapon systems, forming an impenetrable shield against hostile forces. Ensuring the carrier's resilience under battle conditions is a top priority. In June 2021, the USS Gerald R. Ford successfully completed her first full-ship shock trial, simulating battle conditions with a detonation equivalent to 40,000 pounds of TNT. The ship's ability to withstand this shock wave, measured as a 3.9 magnitude earthquake, demonstrated her robust design. Subsequent tests in July and August further validated the carrier's durability. These trials, conducted in real-world scenarios, certified the Ford-class carriers as battle-ready behemoths. On May 3, 2023, the USS Gerald R. Ford embarked on its first full-length deployment, 
departing from Naval Station Norfolk. The carrier is scheduled to operate in the 2nd and 6th Fleet's area of responsibility, underscoring its role in maintaining global stability. As a testament to its international cooperation, the ship arrived just outside Oslo, Norway, in late May 2023, participating in NATO exercises and hosting a visit from Norway's Crown Prince Haken. In the near future, the carrier is set to venture into the Arctic region for further drills. The world remains an unpredictable place, and the United States' commitment to safeguarding its interests and those of its allies is unwavering. On October 8, 2023, in response to escalating tensions following a Hamas attack on Israel, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin directed the Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group to the eastern Mediterranean. This move aims to bolster regional deterrence efforts, demonstrating the Ford-class carrier's versatility in responding to global challenges. The Gerald R. Ford-class aircraft carriers are not just ships. They are symbols of American naval supremacy and technological prowess. With their awe-inspiring specifications, cutting-edge design, advanced propulsion, and formidable weaponry, they are poised to shape the future of naval warfare. As the USS Gerald R. Ford embarks on her deployment and the USS John F. Kennedy prepares to join her, these carriers stand as a testament to the United States' unwavering commitment to safeguarding its interests and global security. In a rapidly changing world, these carriers ensure that America remains the unchallenged sea force on Earth throughout the 21st century.